Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is going to be episode number 5 in our Let's Make a Game RPG Maker MV series. And uh, when we left off last time, we were finishing up our skill system, which we completed. And uh, we've designed some more skills for our enemies. Uh, we designed our first mini boss fight. Uh, we designed one map and we've assigned all of those skills to enemies in uh, our classes, characters. Uh, we started our cutscene, our opening cutscene, very, very short cutscene. And uh, I think we're going to do our move event now. So what we'll do is, this can be anywhere on the map. This is just going to start it off. But what I do need to do is create the graphic for uh, the emperor, or the, not the emperor, the general. He's not going to have any uh, contents because we're going to control it all with this uh, auto run. But we're also going to use uh, the mercenaries that we created. I feel like the general would be in, in front. He seems like an arrogant, cocky kind of guy, so or how I picture him, so I think that's what we'll do. We're gonna start our character right here, but we're gonna be invisible at the beginning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a, a complex move event. It's gonna control multiple things. So we're not gonna wait for completion on this one, but we're gonna have the player move Thirty steps left. We could also do a, a, a camera pan, but let's just see how this works. There'll be some some testing. We're gonna move. Uh, why is it not showing? Oh, I know what I did. Okay. Right here. We don't need to put a note. We need to put this actually right there. I'm just curious to see what this is going to look like. surprised that worked like I thought it was going to work. Usually with these move events where you're doing multiple things at once, it doesn't work the first time. So that's pretty cool. And the reason why the camera stops and goes, stops and goes, because the player is going to move faster than uh, the events are, unless you specify that they're going to move faster. But because we're moving in one direction, 
and uh, I don't have through on, uh, then the character is going to kind of hit a wall every couple steps. So that gives you that kind of panning motion. Or actually not even panning. It's sort of like stop, start, stop, start. But that worked out. I could even, let's see how it looks if we put through on. Just to see the, the camera scroll past him. I sort of wanted it to them to be moving before the text started. Yeah. Oh, I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do. That that's gonna work right there. cool um we need to move uh a little bit more though the player needs to move a little bit more like maybe 10 more and then after this move event oh, i actually want the screen to be a little tinted and i think storm Stormy weather would, would work better too. Immediately, like it's been storming. Tint the screen. And then after this, we're going to fade out the screen. Um, and we're going to have to make another map and transfer the player. So I'm trying to debate, oh man, map making isn't my strong suit, I think database management balance is probably better and better at but should we do custom uh, should we load maps you know like should we go like this and like load up a map for this game or should it be 100% custom I'm already using one sprite that's built in the, the general sprite I figure it's gonna shave off I would say a good 50% of the time it's going to take for this game to get finished if we use sample maps. This isn't going to be a commercial game. So I feel like there's not going to be a big deal if I use sample maps. Sleepy Wolf, sure, load maps. Yeah, because you know what? These sample maps are really, really good. I mean, if you compare to a lot of the maps that are even in commercial games, these are pretty decently looking uh, commercial maps. I mean, uh, sample maps. And there's a large variety too. I really like this. I like this track too. Okay, so we're probably gonna do the slums one. Like they're just coming through wrecking towns. So at the end of uh, this event, after the fade out, 
going to transfer player. Oh, okay, I got it. This is the town that uh, Driftwood has taken Tiana, Princess Tiana to hide out in because it's like one of the last places that they would look to find her. So let's load, uh, let's put one more map of an interior. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Princess Tiana is 16 and Driftwood is 31. So. I mean, I want to put love stories in the game, but it's not going to be there initially. There will be like uh, time passing throughout the story. And he doesn't, uh, he doesn't treat her as like, like a girl, a girlfriend that he's protecting. He's, he treats her as like a responsibility. Okay, so we're going to do a transfer here. House 1. We're going to rename this to... Uh, hideout. It would mainly be Tiana's hideout. Yeah. Did I use two hands on Tiana? Let's just go with hideout for the display. Yeah, the hideout. I don't need to change the dimensions. So. In our opening event, uh, we're going to do the transfer to the hideout. And it'll be them sitting down right here. After the transfer, we need to <clears throat> change the transparency. We're still invisible. Transparency off, right? And then after that, we need to fade in the screen. And then I can do another event on that other map. Okay. So this event will be done after that. Let's just have a look at... Let's have a look at this. still takes place all right so there needs to be I think we actually have to wait for one of these move events 
and and what hmm. unless we put a weight we can do a weight before the fade out let's just put in a weight one two three four how many seconds we'll start with like 50, 15 seconds I don't even know what that is. It's a guess. Sixteen seconds. Okay. Let's see what happens. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That makes sense. But now we need to change weather and tint the screen back before the fade in. Uh, yeah, none. One frame, don't wait for that. Uh, tent screen, don't wait for that. One frame, normal. Apply that. I wonder if we should. mess with their frequency. I know speed would be the one, but I know I think it's going to double it up. Because then the player is like staring at a screen with nothing going on for couple of seconds. Let's just see what happens if we go normal. Also they need to move more, more frames. Don't move the player, move the guys. Um, yeah, but the problem is we have the camera focused on the player. So we move the player so the camera moves. Otherwise, the guys will just walk off the screen. We could set the player to look like the, these guys, and then that would have them perfect. But I do want to have the camera like not be centerly focused center on them, like... This is more dynamic, I think. See, so if I didn't move the player, then they would walk off the screen and the screen wouldn't move at all. The only reason the screen is moving is because the player is invisible and it's walking left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Five, six seconds. We have more room here, so let's increase the movement. I mean, not the movement rate, but the increase the number of tiles that are going to be walking left. Just add 10 to all of them. reduce the wait times by 160 rates. 
180 frames. Maybe four seconds. No, we're moving more. So three seconds. guys think I kind of like that that was a, that was pretty smooth and then we have an auto run in here that's some dialogue between them like we'll probably have a uh, drifty uh, out of the party at the beginning and then make an event that looks like drifty over here or driftwood so it looks like they're both sitting at a table across and then some dialogue plays let's do that let's go to systems And then we'll have him like join the party right after that, and that even uh, that particular event. Like I did the sound effects, I'm gonna do the music the same, off stream and off camera. Just go through. It's really boring to watch um, the music. I mean, I can understand why I would listen to this stream, like even if I was doing something else, because of the music. But if the music's like off and on, off and on, off and on, I might be this uh, less interested. So I'll do that off camera. But let's get that event working right. So in uh, Tiana's hideout, we have her being teleported here. Let's make an event across that uh, it's gonna look like driftwood. It's gonna stand like that. And then I guess we could have this be our event placeholder. It'll be auto run with the. Uh, at the very end, we'll put a self switch. That, that goes new page, self switch. Yeah. But before that, it's going to show text and it's going to say. I, I think I'm there's some inconsistencies. I'm spelling Tiana with one in and then two in. Okay, so one. Just one in. Just one in Tiana.
need to have some more characters. Uh, I think if they've been in this town long enough, they're going to know some people and reference them by name. So we need to do some side characters that won't be party members, but they'll still be like characters in the game. So we need some names here. Oh, I even even a uh, terms of endearment will work. The old man. Yeah. I should probably uh, use some colors too. I have to figure the right placement though. I know it's like this is the. I know how to do it. But I just gotta figure which colors I want to put where. I think all locations. I'm gonna color one thing. All items refer to two battle. I'll be using uh, that so that you can see like the actual items. It won't show you right here, but in game it'll show you the, the icon. here when we've established a little bit of opening story or at least a building character dynamic between them there's going to be uh, a camera shake shake screen not the strongest that it could be it's not a nuclear explosion but definitely something that's not a little trimmer we do want to wait for completion, and I think three seconds is enough, or even like three and a half, something like that. And a sound effect as well. If we had that uh, uh, that gap window that Yanfly is working on, we could do like exclamation points, like uh, or question marks, you know, like what was that, you know. some text uh, while that's happening. Oh, and then he disappears. It's fine. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta fix that. I like how it still plays everything that's on the contents, even if it switches to another page. You can sing of that song. Alright, so what's going to happen after that? This is going to change the background music, right? I mean, I have, I'm going to do all the music later, but we're going to change background music. As well as, actually that would be above the switch.
down, down, left, left. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three.